Hi everyone, Caroline here. How long do you wear your crystals? Do you wear them for a long time or do you wear them for a short time? And how can you tell when to stop wearing your crystals? That's the question that I'm going to be answering in this video. So pay attention if you're a crystal lover who loves wearing crystal jewelry or if you just love carrying crystals around on your body for either physical purposes or for emotional healing or spiritual reasons or even for mental healing because this might be useful information for you to know. And I'd also like to hear your opinion on how long you wear crystals. So please let me know in the comment section below how long you do it and what really makes you stop wearing crystals. At what point do you just stop wearing specific crystals that you have loved for a long, long time? So just quickly drop me a line below. All right. So if you're curious like me, you probably wonder how long do you need to work with specific healing crystal jewelry? Or you wonder at what point should you stop wearing the current crystal jewelry that you're working with? And how can you even tell when to stop working with them or when to stop wearing these crystals? And the other thing is that, are there some crystals that should be worn for a short period of time? And are there others that should be worn for a long period of time? And what are the circumstances under which crystals should be worn for a short period of time or for a long period of time? I'll share with you my personal reasons and perhaps they're gonna resonate with you and maybe just give you an idea of how long to wear your crystals or when to really stop wearing your crystals. You know, the thing that I've realized is sharing information is a very, very useful tool to help each other along this path, okay? All right, the thing is this, there's no definite answer to this question as to how long one should wear their healing crystals or at what point one should stop wearing their specific crystals. But there are some guidelines that we can use to help us determine when exactly to do what we need to do. Because matters such as these depend on a lot of things. The first thing is intuition. Intuition is a very important factor in helping us determine how long to use a crystal or not. And a lot of it really depends on the guidance that you receive from your higher self or even from your own personal research or however it is that you come across intuitive guidance. And following your own internal radar is so, so key. I cannot even underestimate the power of your own inner guidance, your own inner North Star. So very, very important to follow that. And how to follow this is to feel your energy, to sense your energy when you're working with crystals. Because at some point you will begin to notice that your body reacts to certain crystals or to your experiences with certain crystals in a particular way. And that's why it's really important when working with crystals to be really aware of your energy and how you're feeling at any given moment. And when you introduce tools like crystals, it's even more important to pay particular attention so that you're just not wearing crystals for the sake of wearing crystals, okay? I think that for me at this point, it's very, very important that people understand the importance of working together with your crystals to help you achieve specific purposes. We cannot be asleep to these matters anymore. You know, it's very interesting. I used to have another crystal. I still have it, but it's, you know, under my pillow. I used to sleep with a specific quartz crystal and I had been sleeping with this crystal for a long time. I used to hold it in my hand. And one day I started noticing that every night when I would hold that crystal in my hand, my hand would just literally feel like it was paralyzed. I would feel this electric shocks going through my body. My arm would get so weak, man. I was just like, what is going on with this crystal? You know, what's happening right now? And I began to realize, you know, that the job that the crystal had in helping me really enter some realms in spirit and really helping me have these beautiful dreams was over. You know, I just used to feel this connection to something when I was sleeping with that particular crystal. And I love that crystal. I still love it so much, but I cannot hold it in my hands anymore. My hands just kind of just die their own death. And I kind of sometimes just have to throw that crystal away from me just in order for me to feel like the blood pumping back into my body. I mean, it's the strangest experience, but I knew at that particular point that my work with that crystal was over. That was the point at which the relationship was over, the party was over. So things like these, when you're working with crystals, how do you know when to stop working with a particular crystal? When certain things begin to happen in your body and you just feel that you can no longer contain the energy of that crystal within your field.
then that's a clue. So don't ignore it. Okay. So that's one way in which to follow your intuition and your body will always be speaking that language that you can understand if you pay attention. It's just things like that. Some people say they wear crystals on their body and then they start feeling a certain way. And there's a reason sometimes why you feel a certain way. And it's not always bad. Sometimes it's for you to look deeper into the issue that the crystal is bringing to your attention. But then at other times, the job is done and it's time for you to let go of that crystal because you've probably worked through that situation or you probably need another crystal to now come in to complete the process or to take you to the next step of your evolution. So it's just so much fun. So the first thing and the first way to know is intuition. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So the second thing I want to say about this is that there are some crystals that you can actually wear for a long period of time. Some people wear crystals like, okay, since they were babies until right this moment, it's been a long time and they've had that specific crystal, maybe around their neck or whatever, for a long period of time. There are some crystals which are like that because maybe they've been tuned up to your energy signature and maybe there's a specific purpose for which you know that that crystal is in your life. Maybe it was given to you, maybe it's some kind of totem, maybe it's some kind of, it has some symbol behind it. Who knows, okay? But there's some crystals that people wear for symbolic reasons for long periods of time. And that's fine. And those crystals are long-term crystals. Oh, but I just got to mention that even for these long-term use crystals, it's very important to keep them cleansed and to keep them charged at all times because a lot of energies can really interfere with original purposes of the crystal, whether they are there for you to use for a long term for whatever reason, for whatever spiritual reason, for whatever symbolic reason. Cleansing crystals is just something that I think is very, very crucial. But, you know, just listen to your energy and listen to your intuition, okay? Anywho, the other determining factor is your specific health condition or the health situation that you are experiencing. If you're experiencing a health situation and you're working with specific crystals and then you notice that that situation has resolved, then at that point you can decide to stop using those specific healing crystals and move on to other crystals or whatever. And even if you are not using those specific crystals for healing and you are using them for purposes of maybe things like creation of abundance or you are using them for protection, that means bringing in more light into your body or you are using them to hold a specific vibration, whatever purpose that you are using those crystals for. Once that situation has been resolved and you have achieved the specific thing for which you are using those crystals, then at that point, it's obvious that, okay, the energy is done, the work is complete and it's time to move on. So that's another way that you can tell whether to stop using your crystals or to keep using your crystals. Is the purpose accomplished or not? Okay. Then the other thing that I consider is the time frame for which a situation started. So for example, if the situation is new, if it's something that's fresh, if it's just something that started recently, for example, if I just started feeling a little sick recently, or if some experience came into my life just recently, then I would start working with specific crystals, which I would choose very carefully. And what I have noticed is that what usually happens in these situations, which are fresh and new and recent, is that the time frame for which I use specific crystals for these matters is usually very short. These matters tend to really quickly resolve unless there's something else that I'm doing that is causing them to extend. But usually if I'm on point in terms of my awareness about situations and how to resolve things, and if I'm working with crystals for those particular matters, the time frame for these new recent situations is usually very short. On the other hand, when I'm working on situations that have been going on for a long, long time, I notice that the time frame for which I use crystals is usually longer because the matters involved are deeper, they are root level, they are blood or life force issues, they are bone or structural issues. These are deep, deep stuff. And sometimes working with crystal takes a long, long term to really, really unearth the root of these particular matters. So I weigh is this a new problem or a long-term situation? And then based on that, I know roughly how long I'm going to be working with a crystal. So I really love this method of how to look at situations in my life and work with my crystals. And I'm usually pleasantly surprised to see miracles happening in between and speeding up the process, even when I'm thinking that the situation is going to take a long time. So 
mercy is upon us miracles are upon us magic is in our lives we are the creators of our situation so it really doesn't matter whether we think that certain things are going to take a long time because it's a mindset thing you know and it's always good to just go with the flow and just see how things are going to work out and most of the time they work out brilliantly okay we are just magicians and oh my god we are so 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 supported and loved okay so that's another way that i use to determine long-term use of crystals and short-term use of crystals okay let me move on the other way that i use to determine how long to wear crystals or not is when my crystal breaks you know it's so funny because i used to love wearing this crystal here this is my green aventurine necklace you've probably seen it in many of my videos this is my baby right here you know it's so interesting because there are certain periods of time when i'm really drawn to work with this crystal this crystal is magic i tell you especially for me for so many reasons which i can't even go into in this video so one day a few months ago i was filled with such anxiety i remember it was a full moon day and i was filled with so much anxiety and i had this crystal around my neck and i had gone to bed and then sometime early in the morning i just woke up and i noticed that this crystal necklace had snapped you see i haven't even put it back together it, it just snapped and it just fell off gently on my side thank god i didn't lose any of the beads and i noticed instantly that there was a strong message that was coming through and that was why my crystal had snapped man i was filled with so much anxiety and this crystal i think it just had had it and it just wanted to let me know stop okay why are you feeling anxious you know what's this anxiety about and you know what someone had mentioned something very interesting about what anxiety is the person had described anxiety as imagining crap imagining crap that you don't want so i was like oh my god caroline you know stop imagining crap that you don't want you're filled with anxiety because you're imagining crap that you don't want and i was seriously so grateful that my crystal had snapped and really brought me out of that negative spiral of anxiety Okay, so crystals break and at the point where the crystal snaps, you can decide to stop wearing the crystal because the work is done and hopefully you have also got the message loud and clear. And now that I think about it, you know there was a time when I used to wear aquamarine crystals on my throat chakra and those crystals could never ever stay on me. They would just crack in half or they would snap somehow and I used to wonder why. And then the more my throat chakra started opening up and I began to communicate and express myself and really come into my own truth and my own awareness of who I was and really express my creativity and come on YouTube and talk like this, the more I realized that those aquamarine crystals that I used to wear were cracking open because that was the message that they were bringing to me. Crack open, crack open and let the communication come through. Let it come through. That was the message and I stopped wearing aquamarine. You know, from that point, I don't believe I have ever worn aquamarine because the purpose has been accomplished. So certain crystals will snap when the purpose has accomplished as we have said before. So those are just uh, some interesting experiences. <laughs> Let me know if you've had any of those types of experiences anyway. I'm really interested to know, okay? All right, the other thing that can help you determine how long to work with crystals, either for long term or short term, is the type of crystal combinations that you use. Crystal combinations are very, very important. If you combine the wrong crystals with the intention of achieving a specific purpose, you might be using crystals for a lot longer than you really need to. But if you're consciously working with the right crystals or the right crystal combinations, then you'll notice that the time period for why you need specific crystals is much, much shorter. So crystal combinations is another way. You use the wrong crystals, you're going to be working with crystals for a long, long time because you won't be achieving the results that you want. And then you'll just keep using the crystals for God knows how long. Okay, so crystal combinations is also an important factor to consider. And then the other determining factor is you yourself your belief systems, what you believe about how long you should wear crystals, your attitude about how long you should wear crystals or how you should work with crystals or what involves what, also determines the length of time that you're gonna be working with certain crystals. Your specific experiences with your crystals determine a lot. The actions that you take when working with your crystals determine a lot. So you as a person, who you are and your view of life also helps to determine how long you're working with crystals and at what point you decide to stop working with specific crystals and to move on to the next type of crystal that is calling your name, okay? So 
how long do you wear your crystals and under what circumstances do you stop wearing these particular crystals comment section below okay good thank you feel free to email me at caroline at crystalstock.com i offer personal one-on-one -on -one consultations that's very different from a lot of things you're going to be blessed so hit me up at my email and until next time let's just stay spiritually aware in every circumstance and use our crystals for the right thing and to achieve results i love you guys bye